Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. And it's August 1st. And holy cow, are there some amazing things this month? Wow. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so excited. This is Glenda Robichaux, and with me is Julie Gromitz. And we are really excited also today to talk about black pepper essential oil. Mm hmm. So our agenda today, first and foremost, we need to step back and celebrate the amazing things that happened in July. And um, then look forward, we've got some uh, tremendous things happening in August. Um, the promotions I've never seen before, so I'm really excited. Um, and then as Glenda said, our topic this week is black pepper, and then we'll have our upcoming events. <laughs> so first and foremost, I need to give a huge shout out and congratulations to uh, Miss Glenda. You are an amazing woman. I know that you've been working really hard to get to gold and you've really truly manifested this. So I, um, I hope it's okay. I totally stole this picture off your Facebook account. Yes. <laughs> it's on Facebook. Totally out there for the world to see. <laughs> But how adorable are the two of you there sitting in your little doTERRA O. So you have been an inspiration to me, my dear, and um, you totally deserve this. Thank you. You're going to make me cry. Mm. You know, uh, it's really incredible because this month was really challenging in so many more ways than one, just with um, some family things we have going on. And if you put your mind to it, you know, nothing can stop you. So I hope that uh, this is encouraging to everyone else that even when life feels really crappy, <laughs> we have these amazing oils that we are given that we can go share hope with others and we can share the gifts of the healing benefits of these oils and we can use them for ourselves too and just, yeah. Oh, oh thank you. I'm rambling. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing, my dear. Thank you, thank you. But we also have some other amazing people to celebrate this month. Yes. So top and roller is Kathy Barnes on my team and Oh no. Your oh. rank person fell off the slide. Oh. We'll fix that real quick. We can't have that. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I think you just got to pull that whole thing on up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, back at it. So Kathy Barnes is uh, my top and roller and Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Oh, girlfriend. She rocked it this month. She was. Oh, it looks like she hit elite too. Yes. She really encouraged me. Every time I saw her do a Facebook Live video, I thought, okay, I got to get out there. Got to keep doing it. So this really is a team effort. You know, um, we can't do this alone. And I only hit gold because I have this amazing team working just as hard. So. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So some other rank advancements I had this month were Hannah made it to director and Kendra Marvelous Kendra, dear, you're so inspiring to me as well. You also made it to director. And Jennifer Dorino made it to manager. So congratulations, guys. It's really exciting to watch you guys grow. Woohoo! And think about all of the families that we're getting these awesome oils into. So inspiring. Yes. So August promotions. Okay, so every month they have a 10% off item. And every month they have a free product of the month. So our 10% off item this month, I'm really excited about actually. This is the HD Clear line. This is a line of skincare that doTERRA came out with a couple of years back that is geared more towards uh, younger, maybe teenage skin. Some that's a little um, oily or acneic. And so it has a great foaming cleanser a great lotion because you absolutely have to make sure that you put a lotion on after you wash your oils off your face. And then it also has a spot treatment um, 
oil blend, which is a really beautiful blend of different oils. Um, and honestly, I don't have the oils off the top of my head, but it's a really, um, a really cleansing oil blend. And when you think about putting essential oils on your face, it's not going to create the oily nature that you think of causing acne. It actually will help to um, help clear that out. So fantastic 10% off item. And our free product this month is On Guard in a five mil bottle. So how perfect with school coming up next month, or actually I should say in Minneapolis, it starts at the end of this month. Um, that we have that extra little on guard on hand and it's a cute little five mil bottle. So it fits really, really well in your carry on, in a purse or a little travel size bag. Awesome. And the promotions don't stop there. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is awesome. It's like waking up to Christmas. Right? <laughs> so this month when you place any 200 PV order, you get not only one, but two oils that we have never had access in the U.S. to before. Wow. <laughs> the first one is Litzia. You're going to get a 15 ml bottle. And the second one is Manuka, and it's in a roller ball in our touch line. So it is um, diluted with fractionated coconut oil. And I, I'm so excited to even just start learning about these oils, because to be honest, um, I don't really know what they do yet. <laughs> Well, the next slide talks about them. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> so Litzy oil can help promote a sense of balance and inspiration, positively affecting mood with its energizing and refreshing properties. You could add it to homemade surface cleaners for its purifying and cleansing properties. Add it topically to support healthy digestion may promote cardiovascular, immune, nervous, and respiratory health when taken internally. Blends well with basil, bergamot, geranium, lavender, and all citrus oils. Mm. And then Manuka, and this one here, this slide doesn't show the touch line, but Manuka is revered by the Maori people for its invigorating properties. Manuka has been used for centuries in New Zealand for its many benefits, relieving feelings of stress, promotes relaxation naturally, diffuse it to help cleanse and freshen the air, can support the body's natural defense against seasonal and environmental threats, calms and soothes skin irritations, blends well with frankincense, cedarwood, tea tree, lavender, or Litzy, Melissa. I cannot wait to get these. So again, to get both of these, you just need to place a 200 PV order this month. Um, you can do that on your loyalty rewards program. Do it before the 15th of the month. You're going to get the on guard also. Oops, sorry. This is <laughs> awesome. I'm really excited about this. I, um, I'm putting my order in today because I want it and I want it now. I was just thinking that too. I was like, ooh, I might even need to pay for the uh, extra shipping just to get it. I <laughs> was thinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along, the Amavi um, kit that they uh, introduced in June for the men's line. Uh, is still available and you can actually purchase these items individually. So the Amavi Fortifying Blend in a Rollerball. Holy cow, sorry everyone. <laughs> um, uh, is yes. a beautiful blend for men. It smells so good when my hubby wears it. And he's really enjoying the aftershave lotion too. I haven't tried it yet. I mean, I you know, if you like the smell, you can use it too. Females out there. And uh, the bath bar is really beautiful, too. It's got our balance oil in it. So just beautiful products, you know, if you need to reach that 200 PV to get the, the awesome freebies, you know, consider putting this in your cart, too. So our topic of the week, black pepper. This is a really fun kind of spicy oil. Um, I've really been enjoying it in my own massage practice and personal world. It's one of those things, believe it or not, that I really like to take camping with me. Ooh. Yeah. 
Interesting. All right, so black pepper comes from the fruit, which are these little dried, little dried things you see on the screen. <clears throat> black pepper is steam distilled to get the essential oil. And it's got kind of a, <laughs> I like the definition here, hot, sharp, fruity, spicy. <laughs> but it really does have this kind of unique, like fruity element to it and spicy. So now is the time when I'm going to invite you to, um, if you have black pepper, take a drop in your palm. Rub your palms together. Oh, and just breathe it in. Oh. You know what sometimes surprises me and I sometimes forget? Is that sometimes when you smell the oil just out of the bottle, you know, you just open the cap and give a little sniff. You're not really getting the beauty of when you take a drop in your palm and rub your palms together and breathe it in. Mm -hmm. Almost like two different experiences. And obviously putting it in your palm and breathing in it is way more fun. <laughs> way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> A little slap happy this morning. <laughs> ah, so black pepper. Awesome. So one of their oil tips down at the bottom, four drops of ginger, eight drops of black pepper, and eight drops of cinnamon with a carrier oil for a soothing massage. Now, I don't know about soothing. I think it would be fairly hot. hot. <laughs> so I would definitely use a lot of carrier oil with that one. But quite frankly, that would be really good for um, getting circulation moving. One of the greatest things that I love about black pepper with my um, massage clients is that it really does help to promote circulation. And so this particular oil blend, I would definitely recommend if you are one that tends to have cold extremities because it will, the spicy, the heat, the warmth of the black pepper alone, and then you throw ginger and cinnamon with it, it'll really help to warm the body up. Yeah, very warm. <laughs> yeah, it really surprises me that it says eight drops of cinnamon. Yeah, that's a little spicy. But like I said, you know, if you put it with a large, um, in a large amount of carrier oil, I don't know that it would be uh, that. Spicy? <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to try that one out, Glenda. You wanna come <laughs> for a massage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And um, as we go on here, you'll see that you can use black pepper aromatically, topically, and internally. But you'll definitely want to dilute it if you have young or sensitive skin. And you know, one of the things that I'm learning more and more about dilution is that it's really quite helpful to do um, for anyone, and especially if you're going to be using a specific oil daily, I would recommend diluting it just because you don't want to um, overstimulate the skin. Yes. So a couple uh, black pepper usages, as Glenda was talking about, we can put it internally. One of the ways that we could utilize that is applying a drop or two into a veggie capsule when your seasonal threats are high. It can be added to one of your favorite dishes as a spice. That's part of why I really like to take it camping because it, um, I add it to like marinades for my meats and um, salad dressings. So it's really great for that. Uh, topically, you can mix it with uh, that fractionated coconut oil to keep warm in the winter time. You can dilute it um, for young or sensitive skin, as we talked about, and then aromatically, it can be really soothing in a diffuser. It can be really, um, really nice and calm if you have those anxious feelings. So some of the primary benefits of using black pepper are um, it provides antioxidant support. Uh, like Julie mentioned, it can help with circulation when used during uh, massage. Also aids in digestion, enhances our food flavor, and soothes those anxious feelings. 
This is one of the really cool factors that I love about essential oils is that we can really utilize them to help overcome, to help create a healthy lifestyle. And part of that creating a healthy lifestyle is letting go of things that are um, not serving us anymore. And so a lot of people have been using uh, black pepper as a way to quit smoking. So it's a really great, um, a really great option to have. If you have some of these little inhaler sticks at home, they can be really, really helpful. You just drop a drop of the oil on a little cotton wick that sits inside. And you could use the black pepper alone or you could make a nice blend. This one here suggests combining black pepper, lemon, eucalyptus, cinnamon, clove, or cedarwood oils with it. And so you can create that and have it in your pocket. So instead of reaching for your cigarette, you can just reach for this little diffuser stick and um, give you that same sensation of inhalation where you're taking that breath. However, you're not getting the tar and you're not getting the nicotine, but the beautiful spicy nature of the black pepper oil does help to kind of trick the mind into feeling like you are um, getting that same sensation. So awesome. And black pepper is a great oil for helping to open the base or root chakra. Um, you could try applying it at the back, the base of your spine. That would be a really good spot to apply it. Again, I would dilute it with some coconut oil. You don't want to lose the meat down the crack. No. <laughs> <laughs> that can be a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> So many things flooding to my mind, inappropriate to say. Oh um. yes, that deep, dark, rich um, oil is really fantastic for opening up that deep root chakra um, and really helping to promote that heat that rises from within. Yes, just marvelous. So some ideas for cooking with black pepper. Um, like Julie mentioned, it's a great one for salad dressings or to use when marinating uh, meat. Um, this would be a great one too to maybe combine with rosemary or uh, something else and add it to hummus. And then also you could use it in soups too. And again, just a little reminder when you're cooking with oils, you want to add it towards the end, um, especially if it's something that's hot like soup because if the temperature um, gets over 115 degrees, you're still gonna get the flavor, but you're gonna lose the therapeutic benefit of the oil. And also, always start with less. You can always add more, you can't take it out. So this would be one that you might wanna consider just sticking a toothpick in the bottle and drag your toothpick through the food. Um, that way you can always add more. You cannot take it out if you add one or two drops, because that, it's a, they're powerful oils, so they can be overpowering when using with cooking. Because again, essential oils are 50 to 70 times more potent than dried herbs. So you wanna keep that in mind um, when you're using it during cooking. Yep, and you know, one of my little tips and tricks that I like to do is take a little ramekin <coughs> of olive oil or avocado oil and drop a drop or two of the essential oil in that. And then I utilize that to flavor my dish so that I can kind of mix it in and taste it and mix it in and taste it. That is a great idea. I think you've told me that before. It's always good to hear it again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about this. <laughs> and then um, I found this recipe on doTERRA.com. Thought this was kind of fun. Sweet pork enchiladas with black pepper essential oil. Um, just to kind of get the, the wheels turning and thinking about how you can use it in cooking. And again, if you just go out to doTERRA.com and in the search bar, you can type in um, enchiladas, black pepper, you know, whatever, it'll bring up this recipe as one of the results. That looks amazing. It does look really yummy. I think I need to do that tonight for dinner. 
Yum. What time shall I come over? <laughs> we'll be ready about 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> and then for dessert, we're going to have some black pepper and lime and raw chocolate. Okay, okay, you guys, I was really, really hopeful to actually get up in the middle of the night last night and make this <laughs> because it looks so absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm sorry, I totally did not put the actual recipe on here. I did a Google search for it. Um, but it is coconut oil, raw cacao with some vanilla and the lime and uh, black pepper essential oils. It looks wow. super simple. Um, I can honestly say I haven't made it yet, but I think that will be for dessert tonight. <laughs> so we're going to just have a black pepper night. Have a black pepper food evening. Yummy. And then, of course, we would not be um, complete without addressing the emotional aspect of black pepper. And it's the oil of unmasking. Um, so I took this excerpt out of the Emotion and Essential Oil book. It gives an individual strength to overcome the challenges and issues they carry inside and invites them to live in integrity with the self. Um, it's a pretty powerful statement. It can help with feelings of um, feeling, having trapped emotions or if you are um, very judgmental against yourself, it can help you maybe ease on that. Uh, that's something that I really worked a lot on this month is judging myself or being really hard on myself. Um, you know, all of the self-talk that we give ourselves, we want to make sure that it's positive. Um, and this oil also helps with emotional dishonesty. So just a really powerful, powerful oil in terms of our emotions and what kind of messages we're feeding ourselves. So some fun ways to get that into your world. Here's some black pepper diffuser blends. So Sunday morning, you could blend black pepper with wild orange and the lang ylang. That sounds really good. Citrus spice with black pepper on guard and citrus bliss. Motivation could be black pepper, lime, and frankincense. <gasps> Happiness! <laughs> black pepper and forgive. That's really a beautiful combination. Um, simplicity and black pepper and peppermint and cloudy skies, black pepper, patchouli, and sandalwood. Ooh, sounds like a good one for today. Yeah, it does. Kind of cloudy out there. It is. And you know, that happiness blend with black pepper and forgive. So if you just think about the emotional aspect that I mentioned of black pepper, and you think about our forgive, was, which is one of our emotional aromatherapy oils, how powerful. I mean, sometimes there's people in our lives that we need to forgive, but sometimes we need to forgive ourselves. And again, let go of that judgment on ourselves. So that's a really, it's a really beautiful blend. Mm -hmm. Diffuse. Well, that wraps up our info on black pepper. Um, we wanted to mention, wow, the Empowered Life webinar series is today. today. <laughs> And tomorrow. So um, if you haven't had a chance, go out to doTERRA.com. You want to get registered for that webinar and they'll send you a link to join um, when it's live. These are also recorded and stored out on doTERRA.com. So if you do happen to miss this uh, later in the month, it will be available for listening. Um, the one that they did last month was on the great outdoors and that is available on doTERRA.com. So just go out to doTERRA.com um, you can type in Empowered Life Series and all the ones that have been recorded in the past that are available for listening will pop up in the search results there. Those are really good and they're usually about, I want to say 20 to 30 minutes long. It's a nice little clip of, of um, information on all different topics, so check it out. And some local upcoming events that we have. Our next week's webinar will be spotlighting Zendocrine. And then I've got a How to Get the Most of Your Membership Facebook event. If you have enrolled new members in um, 
July and would like for them to understand their membership a little bit better, feel free to send them on over. Our Facebook account is Midwest Essential Mamas and that's where that um, Facebook event will be held. And it'll run um, today through Saturday. So it'll be up for what, three, four, five days. <laughs> It's early, I'm not counting, but um, so it'll be up for a number of days with that opportunity for them to walk through. And then business builders meeting August 11th via Zoom. Let Glenda or I know if you want that contact information and we'll make sure to plug you in. August 13th at 6.30 is um, a Essential Oils 101 class with our lovely Julie Milliken. That is being held in South Minneapolis. She is opening it up to um, whoever would like to join her. Um, so if you're interested, go ahead and give her a call. Uh, we have an August oil camp that's starting August 20th. Let me know if you're interested in participating in that. Back to School with Essential Oils, August 20th at Thrive Chiropractic out in Minnetonka, and then Team Night at the Linux Community Center in St. Louis Park. So a lot of great things going on, lots happening here in August. We'll have even more classes uh, posted next week. So stay tuned, and as always, our calendar is available at oilerswithamission.com, and we try to keep that one pretty up to date. So. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday and create some sunshine inside with a diffuser blend because outside it's a little bit cloudy here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much and we'll, we'll be back next week. Bye.